<laughs> Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to discuss a little bit hardware because, you know, the power of the Arduino, it is limited. Uh, this little device here, this has not too much power. Uh, I'll leave it there. There's too much power. You cannot, there is a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt output, but you cannot operate bigger things. Uh, some LEDs, okay, no issue. However, we do have in our starter kit, we also do have little motors, we have servo drives and so on. They simply need more power. Luckily, they put also such thing in this. Uh, so this is an external power supply. Okay. Looking like this, remove the foam, look like this, look at that. This is how this is looking. Okay. It is especially designed for our breadboard. Uh, so we have those connectors on the bottom uh, and those connectors, they fit exactly into the power supply part. Okay. Please try, please try that there is a little plus and a little minus sign here. Yeah. Please try to put them in accordance with plus and minus. Even if current electrons does not see color. Yeah. However, for us it's more convenient if we can rely on. Uh, then we make less errors. Okay. How to adjust the voltage level? There are those little jumpers. Uh, you see there are the jumpers uh, and they are labeled. This jumper here on this side, this is currently set to 5 volt. Uh, if I want to have 3 to 3 volt, I have to remove the jumper here, put it to here, then I have here 3 to 3 volt on this side. Okay. If you don't have any output, check if your jumper is maybe in middle position. Yeah? If it's in middle position, you don't have any output. So this now is out of the box. So it was jumpered like this. So one side was jumpered to 5 volts yeah? and the other side was jumpered to 3 to 3 volts. So if I plug it in like that, I would have here 5 volts on this plus and minus, and on this plus and minus, I would have 3 to 3 volts. Okay? Fact, the minuses are connected to each other. So this minus and this minus, they are connected. How to power supply this? You see, on this side, you can either power supply it by USB, yeah? or you can power supply it with a power check and they also provided us this in our starter kit. You should have such a cable, uh, power adapter, corresponding power, plug, plug it in. I think this is 9 volts. So what is the output of this? Yeah, 9 volts. Yeah. And plug it into a nearby power socket, back, and nothing is doing. Nothing is changing. Yeah? There is also an on-off switch. Turn it on, back, we see light and the indication. Now we have here 5 volts and here 3 to 3 volts. Yeah? And this thing is far more powerful than our Arduino. Yeah? We only need to take care that this thing and our Arduino operate at the same level so we need to connect the ground of the Arduino to the minus of here. Yeah, that 5 volts are 5 volts. Yeah, we need to have a base line. So we need to connect the Arduino's ground to the minus of the power supply. To level the voltage levels. Yeah. yeah. So now we have power. We've got the power! Snap. Yeah was my youth. <laughs> uh, power. Yeah, we've got the power. Uh, we need to switch the power. Yeah? And how we are able to switch 
a little bit more power with our digital outputs, yeah, what is needed there, we will hear in the next videos. Yeah. So next time we are going to talk about the so-called relay. Yeah. Such a thing here. Yeah. Relay. What it is, what it does, and why we can then switch more power, we'll hear in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.